Jake Joseph Paul is an American social media personality and professional boxer. He initially rose to fame on Vine, before playing the role of Dirk Mann on the Disney Channel series Bizarre Vark for two seasons. Throughout his career, Paul has become the subject of many controversies due to his behavior, including being charged with criminal trespass and unlawful assembly. Paul's boxing career began in August 2018 when he defeated British YouTuber Digi Alatunji in an amateur contest via TKO in the fifth round. Turning professional, Paul beat the YouTuber Ines and Jib in January 2020 via TKO in the first round. Between 2020 and 2021, Paul won his following fights against retired basketballer Nate Robinson by second round cut, retired mixed martial artist Ben Askren by first round TKO, and former UFC champion Tyron Woodley twice by SD in sixth round cut. Jake Paul says he still hasn't gotten a million dollar check from Dana White for beating Ben Askren, but the problem child is once again proposing a friendly wager with the UFC honcho. He's willing to put $5 million on the line when he fights Anderson Silva. Jake and Spider were holding a news conference in Los Angeles on Monday ahead of their October 29th bout in Arizona, a fight that would take place at the location where Paul had recently encountered his nemesis. Dana White did not think I'd take this fight, Jake said minutes ago. And Dana, I know you're watching, bro. You still owe me a million dollars from when you bet against me on Ben Asker. I want you to come out of hiding. Stop being a bitch and make a bet against me and Anderson and actually pay up this time because you didn't think I would take this fight. So let's make a bet, he added. Let's put a mil, let's put two mil, let's put five mil on it. But I bet you won't, Dana, because you're a bitch. Jake and Anderson have a bet going about spiders. Jake says he hates tattoos, so a body ink bet is off the table. With that being said, Anderson says he'll get clever and figure something out. The feud between Paul and White stretches back over a year and has included diss tracks from the two YouTube stars. Most recently, White demanded that reporters at UFC press conferences stop asking him about Paul, and the Ohio native claimed in an unverified tweet that PR people for the promotion had told those covering last weekend's UFC 279 event not to put questions to him regarding the topic. On September 7, Jake Paul also posted a status on his Twitter account, My toughest test yet. I respect the legend, but he must be exterminated. At most V Promotions presence hashtag Paul Silva from Phoenix, AZ at Gila River Arena. Sat off 29th live on Showtime PPV at Showtime Boxing. New test mice difficile ainda. E respeto alenda, massa la divesser exterminata. Paul, who knocked out former UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley in the second round of their bout last year, was set to return at the start of August in New York but both Tommy Fury and substitute opponent Hassam Rahman Jr. pulled out forcing the event to be cancelled on just a week's notice. It was unclear how Fury would be able to get into the United States, while Raman Jr. would have a seemingly impossible battle with the scale. The commission had insisted that he wouldn't be able to honor his contract without renegotiating his weight. When it became clear that he wouldn't be able to make weight regardless of what he did, the entire show was scrapped, including Amanda Serrano fighting for unified featherweight titles. Paul will face his first real boxer, with Silva holding a 3 minus 1 record that includes a recent scalp over former world champion Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. The Brazilian is widely regarded as one of the greatest fighters in UFC history, and is the 5 minus 0 boxer's first opponent with a southpaw stance as well as a height and reach advantage 